Hi there, I'm Kathleen McGivern and I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're celebrating Dot Day. In this video, you're going to be watching me create two different art projects inspired by the story The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Now, I love this story. One, it is about art, which of course is my passion. The second, it is a beautiful uh, story that encourages us to take a chance and just make a mark and see where it goes. So we're not worrying about where we're going to go with the cre uh, creation of the project. We're not worrying about what we're making or what it's going to look like at the end. We're just going to enjoy the feeling of making art, experimenting with a range of mediums, and of course, being creative thinkers. So. I'm not going to be reading the story, but I just want to talk about my favorite part of the story. And that is when the teacher says, and she goes like this, her teacher smiled, just make a mark and see where it takes you. I love that part. And of course, the most important part of the story as well is that we never give up on ourselves and creating art. We just see that it's a process and that every single time that we create or we try new things, we get better and better. And once you're done your own art project, remember, please sign it. So I'm gonna show you how to make two different dot art projects and you're gonna watch me simply just make a mark and see where it goes. So the first one we're going to create is this one, which is a lovely experimentation. And all I use for this art project is wax crayons. I did use a little bit of uh, washable felt markers like your Crayolas and I used watercolor paints, but you don't have to use watercolor paints. You can always use tempera paint cakes. And this is the first one. It's beautiful art project for primary or elementary, any grade. It doesn't matter. We're just exploring making beautiful dots and exploring just lines and different ways to make marks. Now the second one that we're going to uh, see me make is this one. You're going to watch me make this beautiful abstract piece. And this one is a perfect art lesson for your older kids, whether it's upper elementary, middle school, or even high school, if you're exploring some dot day art with them or just wanting them to have the um, opportunity to freely explore and be creative thinkers and not really worry about where it's going, but just making a mark and seeing what happens. So this one, it's I've used acrylic paint, scrap paper, magazine, uh, oil pastels, um, and I've glued them all together and layered it with acrylic paint, but you don't have to use those same things. You can just use whatever you have available or let it be student choice and see where the art takes them. All right, so join me and here we go. Get ready to watch me create two different dot day art projects and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna be starting our first dot art project with some basic supplies that you might have around the classroom. So we're going to be creating the first dot inspired by the book, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. And my favorite part of the book is when her teacher smiled and says, just make a mark and see where it takes you. So we're gonna make a mark as well. And like in the story, we're just gonna see where it takes us. Now the beautiful thing about making a mark and seeing where it takes us is that we get to make marks on our art and get to create freely without worrying about what we're going to make. We just get to simply be creative thinkers and enjoy exploring and experimenting with art, making mediums while connecting to a lovely story about art making. So. We're going to begin by, of course, making a dot and seeing where it takes us. Now you can grab a choice medium, so either a wax crayon or if you want, you can grab a felt marker for this part. It's really up to you. I'm gonna be using wax crayons and watercolor paints, but you could use tempera paint cakes or whatever you have around you. And if you don't wanna use wax crayons, feel free to use oil pastels as a substitute for this. All right, so I'm gonna begin with just simply making a mark, just like that. 
and your mark might be a little bit different than mine, you can make whatever mark that you would like. So make your first mark with whatever color and a choice medium or pick between your wax crayons and felt markers. And just like in the story, we're now gonna see where it takes us. We're not gonna to think too much about it. We're just gonna simply begin to make marks. And just like in the story, we're gonna see where it takes us. Now, one thing that makes a lot of lovely marks is line. And lines can make swirly lines, they can make wavy lines, and lines can even make dots. So try experimenting with lines and see if that helps you create your beautiful dot. Now, one beautiful thing about art mediums is that we can explore a variety of different mediums and we can overlap them and see what happens when we do these things. Maybe the colors change and they blend. Maybe they make different textures. So experiment with layering your art mediums and just see what happens when you take colors and maybe you overlap them and maybe they blend and create new and more unusual or beautiful colors. And once you're happy adding texture, all around your paper, you're ready to grab your paints. So whatever paint you have. And of course, we're going to need uh, just a little bit of water and a beautiful paintbrush. We don't need too much water, just a little tiny bit will do. And you can pick whatever beautiful colors you want. And we're going to add them onto our art and make a beautiful dot, letting all the different colors blend and merge together. And you can pick whatever kind of beautiful colors you would like to use to make your beautiful dot too. So dip your brush in water and then swirl, swirl on the paint just very gently. And then you can swirl, swirl on your paper and see what happens when you add that water on top of those mediums that you already have on your paper. Maybe you might notice that the wax crayon resists the paint and the water, pushing it away. Or perhaps you'll notice that the washable felt marker bleeds and blends into the background. So many beautiful things can happen when we make art. Swirl, swirl gently on the paint palette. Bring that paint to your paper and being ever so gently as you add it. Again, we're watching and seeing what happens, observing what happens when the mediums all come together, meeting each other for the first time.
And once you're done painting, the best part is, just like in the story, please sign it. All right, we're going to be creating a second dot art piece inspired by the story, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. And again, we're going to start off by being inspired by the page where her teacher smiles and says, just make a mark and see where it takes you. Again, we're focusing on the mindset of just starting an art project, not worrying about where we're going with the work, but just seeing where the mediums take us. But this time we're going to get even more creative and we're going to explore a variety of art making mediums. This is a great art project, especially for older students uh, and anybody who's in upper elementary, middle school, or even high school. And so grab a bunch of either if you have scrap paper, um, magazine cutouts, you can use whatever you have. And we're going to layer not only art mediums, but other art making mediums and materials, okay? Now for this project, I'm not gonna be using watercolor paints. I'm going to be grabbing some acrylic paint, but you can use your choice of paint, whether it's acrylic or tempera paint or watercolor paint, it's really up to you. Now, I just have to say that I am very much inspired by this volcano uh, part in this National Geographic picture. So that is where I'm gonna start with my mark on my art. So you can grab something, maybe a cutout or a clipping, or even just cut a piece of colored paper and glue it to your paper and use that as your starting point for this dot art project idea. So I'm going to now glue that on and use it as my starting point. And I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm gonna see where it takes me. You never know, we might be surprised. We're gonna place it there, and here we go.
once you're done, your lovely abstract dot artwork full of mixed media exploration and layering of mediums is done. Well, my friend, I hope you were able to make some beautiful dot day art. Don't forget to please sign it before you display it. I would love to see your dot day work, so make sure that if you're on Instagram, you follow me at Mizartastic and tag me in any of the art that you post having used this lesson and comment below, did you do this lesson? How did it go? How did it make you feel? So please comment and of course, like this video and hit that subscribe button to find more of my art lessons and teacher tips. Hey teacher, don't forget, you can find all of my art resources in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic. So head on over to TPT and search Ms. Artastic to find over 650 art lessons ready to use in your classroom. Let's make some art.